I'm Simon from Keys to Football. Just wanted to talk about a few incidents last night, hopefully some development areas and just some fair thought in regards to the laws of the game. Because one of them, as you noticed in the uh, France-Norway game, there was a huge VAR decision for the penalty. Now, straightforward in the IFAB, which is the laws of the game, lawmakers of football, if an offence involves contact, it is penalised by a direct free kick. And it's fair to say there was definite contact there. Reckless is when a player acts with disregard to the danger to or consequences for an opponent and must be cautioned. Okay, so that's where the yellow card came from. Okay, so the, the decision was straightforward in there is in the fact that VAR was called because we have this contact here. Okay, so, so just above the knee, on the thigh, it's very high. Now, had the ball not been there and had the ball not been touched, that would probably have been a red card. In fact, that would have been a red card. Okay, but the ball was there and it was touched and did change the laws a couple of, couple of years ago regards the ball on the sense that, yes, you can win the ball first, but you cannot continue through the opponents, therefore stopping them from getting any advantage to get to that ball or anything on there. So we've got a player here and that, that clearly will stop that player making any further progress, okay? So, perfectly right from the referee, looked at VAR, awarded the penalty, and gave, um, um, administered the caution, okay? So that, that was perfectly fine. Now, one of the other sides about that was the uh, control that the, the referee had last night. If you watched it, you'd have seen the body language and how, how strong that body language was. There was talking, there were smiles, there was really, really good communication. It wasn't over-communication, because I know that there is a line between over-telling everyone what you're doing, but where needed, the referee was talking to the players and letting them know. Now, as you noticed on this particular player on here, when, when she received the yellow card, she was a bit myth -wide, um, and that's probably because she didn't realise how and where she kicked him, although she did react straight away afterwards to go and check that she's all right. Okay, so little thing on there and body language. She went to check on her, but she was missed that she got the caution. Um, but when she looks it back, I think she'll know why, and I think it'll be quite straightforward on there. So that, that was really good. I also noticed as well is positioning. So in regards to development and the referee, now it's not for me. I mean, these are the World Cup finals. I'm a grassroots referee and I, I can't tell anyone what to do. But what I can do is probably give a bit of advice, turn around and say, do you know what? I wouldn't stand there, you know, positioning wise. So if I just flick off there and go on there and on the pitch on here. Now, what happened last night on a few occasions, on particular on corners. So on the corners on here, if you noticed, uh, the referee would stand here or move here and go here. So and vary between those two positions on there. Now, the real problem, there is a real problem with that, for me there is, uh, for anybody there is on there. So, because in here, as you were aware, we would have so many players, okay? All, right, all scattered around, all about to compete for the ball that's coming in from over here, okay? So we've got corner coming in, We've got all these players in here are all going to compete for the ball. Now we've also got down here the assistant referee. So they've got them views on there. Ball's going to come in. Now defensively here, the ball's going to come out. Okay. So, so if it's defensive win, the ball will come out and it's going to come out that way. Now you can see the problem straight away is the referees in that danger zone of where the ball uh, will be leaving that penalty area. Okay, so automatically in there. Now what if it was an attacker that was just playing the ball back here because there's an attacking midfield. Now where's that ball going to go from there? That ball's going to come back into here at some point and again the referee is still there. Okay, so as you can see in this area, on the edge of the D, it's the more likely area that it's going to come. The other side of it is as well, because on one of, one of the corners, I noticed the positioning was there. That's right on the edge of the area. Ball comes out, hits the referee, drops back in. It's a drop ball for the goalkeeper, okay, under the new laws of the game. So, so that's another problem on there that you've kind of caused yourself. So I would say, personally, I'd be looking to be over here. Yes, you can go up to the edge of the D, but just remember... That D there, that D there, I would consider a hell of a danger zone because it's the most likely place that the ball will be. Okay, 
on there. There was another thing as well um, last night, and it was really, really good, and it actually stuck out in my mind on, on, on how it was done. And what I'm going to do is use this side on here, because we had the assistant over here, so the assistant's got a view on there. We had two players, defender and attacker, going for the ball. Okay, ball will go in that way, okay? But it was very likely that one of them was going to win the ball before it went out. So it was very, very likely that they, they were going to stop that ball, both compete for the ball, one person win the ball, everything possible that was on there. And if you notice, the referee on here was originally following that pathway. So she was directly behind play. So these two bodies are together on there. They've got the view on there, but they can't have a full view because this play is here. So they can't have a full view. So what, what did the referee do? The referee sprinted into the box. There was no force field. She got into the box. She got in here. There was loads of space in here, which gave her a great view from this angle onto this decision. They had their angle on their decision, and then they could make it, whether it were ball in, out, foul, penalty, um, good tackle, everything was in there. Now, the other side about that actual corner on there is that had that player got the ball across here, then the angle was open on there. Okay, so really, really good positioning, really, really good decision making, um, fantastic performance. If you've got any feedback or you don't agree or anything like that, please feel free uh, to uh, tweet us at Keys to Football. We'll be happy uh, to reply and discuss any of the incidents that have been happening. Thank you.